Butterflies, it's your girl Pam, and this is part two of why I have not cut up my Home Depot cards yet. Um, I'll link the last video from last week um, so you guys can kind of get an idea of what happened with that Home Depot card and why um, I am so against charging on credit cards anymore. I have literally felt it in my pocket. However, um, I haven't canceled it because I did decide to cancel my American Home Shield. I watched several videos on Dave Ramsey talking about it. I started doing some consumer reporting um, and some better business bureaus. And there was a lot, a lot of complaints. Um, and so, I, I, you know, I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm thinking that I'm using this to be able to protect myself if my air conditioner, my water heater, whatever, if something goes out. So I was paying like $60 a month and then there was a trip fee of $75. But they had, when it started coming on the news, like in different cities where American Home Shield was not because, okay, let me go back. What they're supposed to do is you pay your monthly fee. And this is for your um, washer and dryer. This is for your lighting fixtures. This is for your ceiling fan. This is for your refrigerator, your freezer, your dishwasher, your air conditioner, and your H HVAC. Okay? So this is supposed to take care of all of that. And if they cannot fix it, they're supposed to replace it. So to me, as a single mom, you know, single woman out here, that was priceless to me. It was insurance. But if you're not actually paying when you can't replace it or you can't fix it, then what am I paying you for? Or if you sit and say, oh, okay, it's only $75 for the trip fee and the rest of it's covered. And then... There was one couple, there was an elderly couple, their pool was covered, um, the heating unit, and they had to come out of $600 more. Well, come to find out, it wasn't much more than $600. So they've been paying on this monthly fee, they paid the trip fee, and still had to come out of $600. No, we're not going to take mama's money like that. <laughs> we are not. I work too hard, it's too little. And I need all of it. So I made the conscious decision to make sure that I did my due diligence, research, but I decided to cancel it. So I still have appliances in here. So if I have to use my Home Depot card, I will until I can get out of debt. You know, I'm covering my four walls now. We'll go back and talk about that later. But I just really, I, I need that security for right now. But just idle purchases, because that $50 purchase, y'all, that I talked about in last week's video, I promise you I did not need that. I did not need that purchase. Or I probably could have paid for it out of pocket, to be honest with you, and just didn't. So, and literally, you know I had to be conscious about it because I had to go to the counter, give the lady my driver's license for her to look up my account to charge what I was buying. Really? I might as well froze it. I probably would have unfroze it because I was just determined. But that was a costly mistake that mama will not make again. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of share with you guys. You can make your own decision if you have American Home Shield. And let me know if you've got a uh, a policy that covers your, you know, your appliances and different things like that, like HVAC and um um, your air conditioning and all that good stuff. I think HVAC covers heating and air. Hmm, okay. So if it covers all of that stuff and let me know, you know, what your experience has been. I've had two trips thus far and the maintenance guy or whoever they sent out, the, the person that was supposed to fix it, he said my dishwasher needed to be replaced and they wanted to continue to order parts. So that was why I was like, mm, I'm not sure if y'all really looking out for my best interest or if y'all really just collecting money every time. 
And I think y'all were just collecting money every time. So that's why I decided to cancel. But if you have something like that, whether it's with American Home Shield or another company, I'm not affiliated, not bashing them. It's just not for me anymore. But if you have it, let me know and tell me what your experience is. Do not forget to subscribe. We would love new butterflies. And the, to the new butterflies, we love you guys. Thank you. And to my folks that have been here for a while, whoop, I love you and miss you. And um, make sure that you like the video and make sure that you go over to the Facebook group, Ditching the Debt, and join in there so we can support each other throughout the week. So if you guys, right now, what do we got? Oh, we had challenges. Whatever you wanted to give up for the month of January. So that's what we're working on now. I didn't specifically say, oh, it's a no spend month or anything like that. You told the group what you were planning on giving up. Mine's was fast food and I done failed it already, honey. We stayed at that during, um, what's the thing called? The salon yesterday at the beauty school. So long, I was like, mama's hungry. That cereal I ate that morning, was it was a wrap. So, um, you know, I'm going to just push forward and try my best to um, not do it anymore. Okay? So, um, join us over there. And until the next time, butterflies, love you.